Hello everyone, good day and welcome to your next Laravel tutorial. In this tutorial, we will continue with routes. Alright, in the first tutorial we did routing part 1. So, um, you open your Laravel uh, project folder and then you hold your shift key on your keyboard, then you right click on your mouse. It pulls up a special context menu. The only difference between this context menu and the one you do without um, holding your shift key is that there's an extra option here let me show you I hold my shift key I click outside not on all, any of this I click outside then I open command window here so it's a shortcut for navigating to this folder all right so now we are in this folder we run PHP artisan serve this is how to start a server that will eventually open your web page so I'll copy this you you highlight it this way then you hold ctrl c on your keyboard and you it's copied so you open a browser i've opened it before that's why you're seeing it otherwise you open a browser and ctrl v to paste and uh, now that it's pasted you can now hit enter and your laravel web page will open all right as is already open before i started this tutorial remember the last tutorial we linked all these guys but then we've not created all the pages so we will um create the pages good so let's go um we'll get back to our code and um, we'll open our sublime texts and uh, remember you can use any text editor it's okay it's perfectly okay so when we open our sublime text and we open um, welcome.blade.php remember when we created this this is a laravel folder this app and then we opened resources folder then we opened views inside resources folder then we open the file called welcome.blade.php now uh, it was in this file this is the default home page for our project because remember that in web.php when we go to routes when we go to routes in web.php it was defined that if somebody visited our, our home page a view called welcome.blade.php should open so that was what we did in the last tutorial and that view we had a complete html and uh, we had the css inside it and then uh, we were able to put this Laravel then we linked these pages so our next um, assignment or task is to actually create these pages um, do we need a new page okay we'll continue we'll create this we'll create about we'll create contact we'll create account and then we'll link them from uh, we'll route to them from here all right and uh, our greatest challenge here is that the routing topic is actually quite vast in laravel so we'll try and cover the main things and the main ways to do that so what we have here is um, we'll get back to our views folder remember in resources views and uh, we create we already have an about page uh, we could create more pages we could create the one called contact page so what happens is uh, in views you right click and say new file it creates a new file then you you save which is control s or command s so control s and uh, there will be a pop-up that will show up and uh, for us to save so it shows up in the views folder and asks us to save so what we have is um i'll type i want to save con contact.blade.php so we say save that's for our contact page so we'll get back to our welcome page as you can see in the views folder we now have a file called welcome.blade.php contact.blade.php so we'll get back to welcome.blade we still need to create two okay let's say one more and we'll work on this later we need to create one more called news uh, posts let's just say posts all right let's call it um, posts well this is not really important at this moment so let's just um, let it be 
news so but this is enough to show you what i wanted to show you when you have our about and contact page we created about in the last video tutorial now the whole concept of mvc is that uh, things should be really organized for instance this is what i mean you have your models in one folder you have your views in your in one folder and you have your controller controllers in one folder so so far we had our models uh in the app folder our models dump here in the app folder then we have our controllers inside the http here here is our controllers i remember in the last story we created pages controller then we have our views inside the resources views folder so um the idea is that for every controller you have the controller has many functions and methods inside let me open this as you can see the controller has many methods each of these is a view uh, each of these is a view each of these is a view or most likely a view but not all the time so when someone visits get about it should pull up an about page when someone visits um, get contact it should pull up a contact page let me just arrange this so that all the gets will be in the same place so each of these is most likely a view which means um, we have a pages controller and we have like let's say two or three views um, this post is probably not a view so what they can we get from this it means that somehow we need to put all these views in the folder of course the post contact is not a view because um, what it does is basically receive form post request from a form and process it so it's not a view so basically we we need two views here for the get about and get contact so the problem is that um, we need to organize put these two views inside the folder that we can call maybe pages view so that when we have another controller which means we will have to go to our views folder inside our resources folder and of course create um, a new folder we can call pages so i have created a new folder called pages I'll hit enter and uh, we have inside our views we have pages so inside pages we can now have about and contact so i will um i will add these two guys so I'll go to my folder and actually copy about and contact and put it in pages because in sublime text you can just drag just like that so we open right click and open containing folder then we move about and contact into the pages folder all right um, so the folder pulls up what we do we just highlight the two and um, we'll drag it I'll highlight this two, then I'll drag it into pages folder all right now it has moved into pages folder i will open it just to confirm and um, we'll get back to our sublime text and uh, my system is kind of hanging i'll find out what's wrong so but um this is it and i will get back to our sublime text and um what we immediately find out is first of all we need to save this this um tiny little dot here shows you that you've not saved this particular file as you can see normally it should be an x sign but when it's a round dot it means you still need to save so i will delete this guy i use as an example and um we have two more files that we created we have our about page we saved and the contact is still empty so remember that in our blade.php we've already linked the about page um let me just show you that there are two ways to get this done uh, what we did in the last video tutorial is like this this is one way to link to get about page and um, this is another way to link you say use this pages controller that get about and um, when we get to we have done this and it should work normally but when we get to the the browser and we visit slash about this slash about and hit enter um, uh, well it, this shouldn't work because um, let's we made a mistake somewhere let's quickly check the folder okay inside our pages we have our two files here but on the views it did it just copied that is duplicated instead of a uh, move so we have to delete these guys here 
So you have to cross check yours to know whether it happened that way too. We just wanted to have these two files here. All right, so which means when we get back to our browser, and uh, this is our browser, and if we refresh, reload, what we have is uh, this error means that um, it can't find the file to display, the view file to display, as you can see, view about, not found, which means right here in the, it's supposed to, it's looking for this view, but it can't find it because by default, Laravel is configured to go to a resources folder instead of view folder and look for a file named what we're looking for. So it has looked here and it can't find about page. So somehow we have to tell it that, hey, we've moved it to a folder called pages. So inside that folder, that's where you find the about page. So we'll have to do page dot about so this is how to tell laravel that hey you have to go to a folder called page then you move to about another way to do that let's just first of all verify that this works we'll refresh and then we wait boringly and um, um well what are we saying here yes yeah, some uh we obviously did a very stupid thing here um let me show you right here this is this is not where we were supposed to indicate that because here it says if somebody visits um, what you have here our site slash about it should um, route to this it should go to this pages controller and check whatever it's in this about method so we we'll go to our pages controller remember where it is our pages controller is inside app http pages controller so it goes to get about so inside get about we're supposed to do some store process some user registration store authentication then we route to the about page so this is the about that is missing and uh, we're supposed to tell it that it should go to pages dot about remember that pages is inside view by default once you write view it goes to the view resources views and uh, pages that's what we're saying go to resources views then pages then you'll see a file called about.blade.php all right so we save make sure you save yours then you get back to our web page and then we refresh and um, guess what we're there our about page is now displaying this is one way to do it in laravel there is another quick way instead of using a dot you can use a forward slash and um, what your forward slash does is exactly the same thing your dot will do uh, but I kind of like the dot pattern because it looks more object oriented and cooler for me I like looking at my code and seeing dots not slashes. All right, as you can see it's the same thing So thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. We'll continue views We have like three four more videos to create on views so that you understand different ways your controller your your, your model can connect to your views and different ways you can pass variables and arrays to your views thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're watching directly on youtube there's a red subscribe button at the bottom of this video click on it if you're not on youtube uh, do me a favor to visit youtube.com slash c slash brain org and hit enter and uh, when the page opens of course you pan to your right and um, and click on the subscribe button thank you very much see you in the next video